Hello YouTube. I just want to share a video with you. Um, I subscribe to this channel, News Channel 428, and what they do is they uh, highlight and feature other people's videos. They never make any videos of themselves, at least that I know of, but they highlighted this lady's video, and the name of the video is I'm Done, Also Enough is Enough, and basically she's ranting and raving about you know how PC has taken over everything and how you can't say this and can't say that and how refugees come in and you know put restrictions on America and demand all these things and the government you know gives them everything they want and, you know she does make some pretty valid points but um, she closes her video and she says God bless America so basically, I just wanted to share my comments on uh, what I said. And uh, I just said, why, why should God bless America? Your closing statement. We have become worse than Sodom and Gomorrah as a country, or haven't you noticed? That said, though I do agree with some of what you said, you are missing and are leaving out what made America great. Even though its founders were far from perfect, and you are not giving him, speaking of the Lord, credit for same. Yet, at the end, you say, God bless America. Again, why should God bless America? The uh, so-called church is totally apathetic for the most part, with a very few exceptions, and even embracing Chrislam, or didn't you get the memo? Then there are those that are ordaining homosexual clergy as well as being involved in sexual sin themselves. Again, why should God bless America? What he may do is bless those few and far between that have actually believed in him enough to glorify him in all they think, say, and do. But he is no respecter of persons, as he states, and I suggest he is no respecter of evil countries either, where their people have, as you so very well said, become tolerant. And I add to, to open wickedness, witness, wickedness and sin. Again, I add open wit, wit, wickedness and sin there. Uh, yeah, he is going to bless America, all right, as she will burn in one hour, as is written in the book of Revelation, chapter 18. Thus, if you really love your child, perhaps you might consider leaving, as judgment is obviously being rendered as we speak, and there will be no elected Savior that will walk in at this point and save the day. She is simply too far gone. That's sad to say, but many people like myself and better people than me have been warning for years and years and years, yet who listened? Not very many, and clearly not enough. Now the end is beating America's door down, and it's only a matter of time before she collapses and is utterly destroyed. Read your Bibles, people. King James Version, preferably. Time is short, or haven't you noticed? The writing is clearly on the wall. How sad, how sad indeed, that people were too busy to listen to the warnings. And alas, now they must reap what they have sown and are tolerated. This breaks my heart, but people in America have no clue what is about to hit them. Pray for the innocent children. They deserve better, and to be introduced to Jesus Christ, which you failed to mention even once, before they reach the age of accountability, so they might not sin, at least to the degree, uh, the extreme degree, as many of us have, so they might be protected from the hell that is coming soon. That said, don't count on a pre-trib rapture, my friends, though that would be nice and appreciated. 
But my Bible tells me that the tares are taken first, and after that his wheat will be gathered into his barn. See Matthew 13. So I don't think we are going anywhere until the last day at the last trump. Just saying, though I'd love to be wrong on that one. I guess time will tell. And with that, I love you all. And so does God. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins before it's too late. Again, time is short. Choose wisely. So this would be a really short video. I just want to share this with you. I mean, it's clear as day that uh, the world is in big, big trouble. You look over here, you see videos, you know, government warnings, and it shows empty shelves in the stores and, you know, um, different... Uh, other videos, you know, chaos coming and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, you know, I think we all can pretty much feel, even those of us that are not in Christ, even those in the secular world can tell something's coming. And uh, so, you know, this is my way of uh, sharing a little bit of the gospel with you, pointing you towards Jesus Christ, telling you it is coming. I'm not encouraging you to fear, but I am encouraging you to respect God and obey Him and do what He says to do because nobody's going to get eternal life except through Jesus Christ. He clearly said it. He's the door, and that's it. He's the way, the truth, and the life, and no man goes to the Father except by Him. So with that, love you, and uh, if you ever find yourself in the Philippines, Please stop by and see us. We'd love to, you know, chat with you. And, uh, you know, hope to see you here one day. Okay? Take care. And uh, God bless you now. Bye-bye.